So this is our single axis measuring table. It's ideal for measuring flat sheet metal parts with uh, straight or square corners. Uh, it's durable, it's designed to be used out on the shop floor. Uh, there's a probe that moves along by a handle underneath. There's also a handle mechanism that you can retract the pin so it slides under your material or you can push it up so you can change probe tips. We'll show you how that works in a minute. Um, to use the machine, this readout, bring the probe up, zero out the display. Then you can take your sheet metal piece, place it up against your stop bar, bring the probe up, and the display will show you the length of the part. You can turn it, check the width of the part. If you want to check hole locations, you can do this by setting up a datum, and we'll set the x equal to half the diameter of the probe tip. You do that right up against the stop bar. So now it's measuring to the center of that point. Now when you take your sheet metal piece and place it over the probe, you can press it down, it's spring loaded, it'll sit in place. When you slide your part up against your stop bar, the display is going to show you what the center of that hole is to the edge of the part. So you can pop it into another hole and get that measurement from the center to the edge. You can turn it so you can check X and Y dimensions on your pieces. And then when you're done, you can just bring it back up, set it at zero, and you're back to checking lengths and widths. This is our squareness gauge. It runs on the same bearing as the probe. There's a dial indicator that comes out off the edge. You want to adjust that so that when your sheet metal piece comes over the edge, it makes contact with the indicator. So you put your sheet up against the stop bar, hang it out over the edge, and set your dial indicator to zero. Now when you move the indicator along the edge of the part, you're going to see the variation as to how far this edge is out of square with that edge of the part. Another thing you can do is instead of working from the edge and just going from a zero point is you can bring the indicator down to one end, set it at zero, bring it to the other end, set it to zero, and by adjusting the part, and then as you run down the edge, you're going to see camber, so you can see if the edge has any kind of camber to it, and it's out of straight, not necessarily out of square. So that's the uh, basic squareness gauge that you can also check camber with. Another option is our interchangeable probe tips. These usually store in a box mounted on the table. Uh, we've got the 600,000th diameter pointed probe. We also have a 600,000th diameter straight probe and a quarter inch straight probe. Uh, the 600,000th diameter straight probe works well with our diagonal block attachment, so we're going to change probe tips. Just take the wrench, spin your old probe tip off. These are threaded, so you can just thread the new one on. Snuggle with the wrench, and you're ready to go. This is our diagonal block attachment. It comes in two pieces. One piece has a pivot. That pivot goes into the slot and you slide that piece up against the stop bar. The other piece has a bushing to it. That's designed to slip over our probe. So you slip the other piece over the probe. Now you're ready to check corner to corner variation on a part. So you take your square part Load it into the diagonal blocks so that opposite corners are in the blocks. And you just zero out the readout. Now, put the opposite corners in the blocks, and the readout's going to show you the corner to corner variation from one corner to the other. So you can see how far out of square your parts are. And then when you're done checking the diagonals, just pop these out, stick them behind the stop bars, it's a good safe place for them bring the probe up, 
zero it out, and you're back to measuring lengths and widths.